Hello guys and welcome to round 2 of season 13 of the AOR PS4 F1 League. As you can see on screen, last race we finished P4 which uh, wasn't, was a decent result considering the race was a little bit of an up and down but uh, Bahrain is a better track for me so I really hope to at least score a podium and yeah but with this competitive field and Bahrain is a track that is known to that the field is very close so it's going to be a very difficult uh, challenge and as you can see now we are going towards our poly lap flying down towards the start finish straight obviously DRS open <coughs> As you can hear by my voice, I was really really ill for the whole last week and yeah we had a good turn one but as you can see we're already up on our previous we're already down on our previous time. And this was a theme that you will see throughout the whole race. I just wasn't really concentrated. I was like doing small little mistakes here and there, but this corner we actually managed to do really well and we're up on our time but just a tiny fraction behind Ali K, but here we slightly we have a little bit of understeer running wide. This corner we managed really well, good traction. It's down on our time, and as you see, the lap itself looks pretty decent, but here you see like a slight correction. Like every corner I was losing like half a tenth, so it's not like it was, there was a big mistake in the lap, the lap just wasn't really hooked up. I mean, like this corner, we run way too wide, uh, so we are like uh, delayed our acceleration, and there you can see we're behind our time, and we lost four tenths in that sack to Ali K. So yeah, you can see how like this small mistakes added, but yeah, last sector on that uh, 30.3 was pretty bad. So we're up, and the last corner actually was very well, perfect, and this gave us at least a decent time which is the 13.0 and it brought us P6 which I, will, which I was very surprised about. I thought it would be a worse qualifying. In practice I did 29.7s, 29.8s, so even if we would manage our practice times it would be P5. So considering that the qualifying was, went very well, we see Ali K on pole in front of RBS, our teammates, so very good job from him. Jim Nervotank Championship leader only in P9, so that was uh, good for us. But as you can see, formation lap, um, getting ready for the race. Strategy for me was pretty simple. Uh, we had, as usual, pretty good tire wear, but the one stop isn't is not possible in Bahrain because the mediums are horrific. Not in terms of their slow, they are actually decent, but they are slightly more durable than the softs so you, you could go with the soft 12 or 13 laps with the mediums you could go 15 so it was super soft 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 for me for others it was super soft soft medium or super soft medium soft so this was pretty uh therefore i thought okay in the race i did some practice i had good pace so i was really I was really looking forward. P6 was a good position. The tactic was staying in the slipstream train. As we are now waiting for the five red lights to turn off. And I just like the phase where yeah, it's the most tense. And you're always scared of the lag start as we have now three lights. Four lights, five lights. Lights out and away we go, it was a really, really long hold. Our start was as usual, mediocre, Clarky had a bad start. That, as you can see, not too aggressive into turn 1, we could have been more aggressive, we should have been more aggressive, but yeah, Thorn got us around the outside. So, yeah, we can see we lose slightly on the curve, Thorn and RBS collecting each other, and we are up at 2p5, and maybe you saw it, but when I lost it on the curve, um, I collided with RC1, which on my screen didn't. There was no contact, but on his screen it looked like I just plummeted into him. So yeah, sorry for RC1, but we are up to P5, and this was actually a dream start because look at this, we are right in this train for the lead, and this and my tactic was pretty simple. 
I'm to lap 4, lap 5, trying to keep hold station in a train, if necessary overtake someone, if necessary lose a position, but just stay in this train and then I think lap 5, lap 6, we should have, our super soft should be in better shape than anyone else's and we could make the moves. So this was our tactic at the beginning, a little bit cautious, but then kicking up the gears. And as you can see, it works well. We are in the slipstream of Jamie995. <coughs> and also you can see Aresi, Ali K, and Clarky in front. So Clarky recovered very well after um, him having uh, a poor start. Like you can see, yeah, fastest lap from Ali K. And Loki is behind us. We started from P10 or P11. So we can start from him. But yeah, you can see. Now we have our arch rival Jim no Tank behind us overtook Loki is now up to P6 and yeah I wasn't thinking too much you can see there's a slight gap behind us everything good but now we go into we into lean mix yeah lean mix and we just lose the rear end like crazy yeah, and I was really cautious with the throttle as well like for some reason we got a ridiculous snap of oversteer and obviously Nervo Tank stayed in our slipstream. We called the fastest lap. Obviously his race pace is crazy. We know that. And yep, yeah, he dives down and inside. I don't do anything because my plan again was okay. I did that mistake. Calm down, Alex. And also, and then the plan was to uh, be carried by Nervo Tank up to the front as Loki tries to be aggressive. We close down the inside. Nervo Tank already arrived at the back of Jamie so we are in a good position but again now we are we were not concentrated the whole race of the small little mistakes creeping in you can see the lo Loki again trying a little bit on the inside we we'll cover it off but yeah I was so so angry and now we are open the gap like we are leading the second train and yeah, I was really pissed off with myself. Uh, I think uh, I, I'm now for five days. <coughs> yes, you can hear. I'm basically lying in bed and dying, and I just wasn't focused at all. I just wasn't able to keep keep the concentration up. But now we have quite a healthy gap to Loki. He has obviously DRS. We are breaking at the hundred meter. Was a very late breaking. As you can see, Loki just steams in up to our inside. We are forced off the track, Thorn and Loki overtake us, and now Big C, Shelley are also trying to, to overtake them. We are going to the inside for a move, Big C is covering, we are nearly smashing into him, and that cost us further position to Ferrari fan and Nadi. So, in three corners we went from P6 to P12. And yeah, I was fuming. I, you can see I was just driving horrific. But doing mistakes left, right, and center. And now we hit for Wooly. He spins off, but yeah, it's his fault. We let him enough room. So no need to wait for him. And yeah, I was pretty, pretty pissed. Yeah, as I said, so we can see Jim. Jim Nardi and Ferrari fan fighting and, and you can see the many guys who overtook us are on soft so they are like on superior strategy compared to us and yeah she Shelley spins off and I thought okay this is we have to do something so already left five we are peeling off into the pit and hope to not get held up as you can see in front of us Clarky, uh, Loki Ali K, they all getting into into their pit boxes. Good stop from nice, Renault, nice. actually. 2.3 seconds, very well done. And yeah, Loki is on the mediums, and we're now on P17 at the back of the field. So, not a great start, I must say. But yeah, as you can see, like Ali K, Clarky, they're they're just in front of us, so it's not like the race is lost all, uh, already. Uh, as Loki lets us through, uh, which in hindsight he should have done earlier, but yeah, I mean, still at least he lets us through, and um, but yeah, I was pretty pissed off that he he done this. I mean, it, in hindsight that destroyed my race. As you can see, lap seven, uh, some guys went into the pits, 
And yeah, you can see Jason actually coming out in front of us, which is... <coughs> which was a good sign, because... Um, when Loki dive bomb us, Jason was right behind, so you see the undercut worked very well. We gained maybe two or three seconds to Jason in this one lap. Yes, so very well done. And now he's fighting with Kalaki, who is on the mediums. So yeah, similarly to Australia, the tire where uh, the Kalaki experience seems to be quite high, so he's not like on the optimal strategy. I mean, Australia, he was on the two stop, not on the one stop. So yeah, Clarky runs wide and I just hope to somehow follow him through, not lose too much time into the uh, twisty corner, not twisty corners, but yet yeah, this part, just not lose too much time. As you can see, Thorn already on his fresh softs are getting away from Clarky. But then again, if we overtake him too early, he might get us back on his DRS, so patience was a very important task in this race. So yeah, now we are behind Clarky, getting the DRS. He, I think he will get the DRS from Thorn as well. No idea. Yeah, I think he's got the DRS from Thorn as well, but uh, yeah, the slipstream in this game is very powerful as we are yeah, between Clarky and Nardi. And yeah, as you can see, Leaving Clark room on the outside, but we are on the soft compound tire with more grip. So yeah, this is us up into P13 with Jason ahead. I think there's a little train with like Jamie, Aresi, Ali K. So I think if we talk about net positions, I th I think this uh, undercut move moved us up from like P12 to P7, P6. So. Yeah, I think strategic luck, strategy wise, as always, at least strategy wise, we were sharp. Not in terms of driving, and as you can see, lap 11, uh, this was a lap many of the soft runners did their pit stop, so this elevated us up into P7. So, yeah, and I think there was like someone up ahead, so net P6, but then again, these guys who are on the uh, soft, like you can see now behind us is Big C, and um, he started on the soft, so he will be at the end on the super softs, which uh, for us will be difficult to negotiate. But now we're already left 14. You can see J Thorn behind uh, in front, simply in front of us. Then the next car is J Thorn, so in the course of the stint, we lost a little bit of time to him, but not too much I'd say, but yeah, to Ali Aresi, we lost a little bit of time, and there you can see the simply going into the pit, this elevates us up into P6, but behind us is Ferrari fan who starts on the soft, and he had now a fresh set of soft tires, and we went into the pit on lap uh, 5, which meant our next pit stop would be in lap 17, and 12 laps on the softs are very long, so yeah, no defense to Ferrari fan. Wasn't really bothered to defend, I mean, it wasn't a different strategy, I had to do my own race. I just tried to maybe sneak into the DRS for the back straight and everything. And now the next car behind us is Big C, who tries to go to the inside, we're just leaving him enough room so he doesn't spin out. And yeah, but that, uh, yeah, I think Ferrari, f no. We actually get the DRS. This was a very good corner, I must say. And this will mean that, <coughs> ah, as I'm still dying, <laughs> this will mean that uh, Big C has to, uh, yeah, has to be patient and overtake us in the next DRS. But what I thought about, you can see in the lead now is Jim Nerva Tank. Like he is the dot on the minimap that is like going into the start finish with. but you can see I think this is the train with Jamie, Aresi and Ali K and I thought if they have maybe time penalties, if they have like issues during the race colliding, we might be still in the mix. As you can see someone in front of us pitted, which I think is Jayton put it on the mediums, so yeah, now this is the, like the stage of the race where I said that 
many drivers won't be able to go too soft and so they have to use a set of mediums and our tire is good enough to be on those softs so and this is the stage of the race where I hope that with the race would come to me and we could like maybe salvage P5, P6 you can see we hit right behind us was Shelley as we are now going to the pits who start on the soft and this on the soft, soft, super soft strategy show so he will be most likely in front of us at the end of the race but yeah again a nice pit stop from Renault Two seconds, and no one, and, uh, no one at least around us pitted on that lap, so everything good. Then you can see Ali K and Jake Thorne overtaking us, and simply, there you can see Ali K on the medium tire. And I hope maybe I could. I mean, Ali K was pretty fast on this track, but I hope maybe to at least gain time to Jay Thorne. Mm, back, not not sure about Ali K, but yeah, as you can see, next lap we are behind the simply was holding us up a little bit so we couldn't perfectly utilize our tires on the outlet, but yeah, at least <coughs> we are the DRS and lap 18 was the lap where uh, many of the other drivers pitted who were on the super soft 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 strategy, so we started from the top 10 as we overtake the simply. And one of these drivers was Jamie, who was like really in the scrap for P2, and he is just in front of us, so yeah, as he made work of Jay Thorne, uh, who really falls back, I think he had like front wing, de light front wing damage, and that cost him a lot of time, as he tries to defend and squeeze us off, but yeah, we're just breathing past him, Jay Thorne as usual, very aggressive on the brakes, but yeah, we're just going around the outside into lean mix for the good traction staying on the inside forcing him to the outside so he cannot overtake us he's obviously on those medium tires we're covering the apex of taking a nice uh, tight line and we're up into P10 so yeah I mean considering that we were forced off and how much time it cost us the race has been decent and also like you don't see the bigger picture that uh, like you see like my driving and it's looking good but I just was like missing the last percent of pace like the last precision as we breezed past a tracing green I and mean, he had no chance didn't he uh, I mean look how powerful the TRS was how far behind we were yeah, hey, tracing green with no charge on those used mediums. Tire was looking good. And now we had two cars in the pits with, with walls. And I think it was Shelley, yeah, who went onto the super soft. And now we we're up into P5. And in this stage, I really hope that uh, this would be like our finishing position because I think from where we came from, like we were P12, that's a good recovery drive. Um, but then again, Big C and Shelley are the threats. We're racing around us in the second stint, and they are on the super softs at the end. And there you can see Shelley just flying. I mean, we know he has really good pace. He already showed in Australia that if he if he gets his act together, he has front running pace. So yeah, we break. We just lose the rear. Again losing the rear, I mean, I think like we overheated them maybe in the corner before and then we had no grip. Shelley overtaking us. I just hope maybe stay with him and hang on the DRS and maybe like putting him into a fight would uh, break his progress. But yeah, I mean, look how much grip he has compared to us. He was on a better strategy. Um, he was in front of us actually, like, even though we saw him spinning up a bit, but uh, still, yeah, I mean, if you look at, at the cars in front of Shelley, like where Jamie is and Aresi, this is, I think, a, like approximately, this is the gap that I lost in that dive on the tent of Loki, which again, it's, it's, it's encouraging in terms of my driving wasn't the best, but I was still kind of there at the front, so 
I hope that when I'm like back in full fitness and full concentration level and I have more race luck in terms of not doing mistakes, not bottling or being forced off the track that we can stand our own in this competitive field. Yeah, P6, it was then a surprisingly big C didn't caught us, which was very strange for me as we see Jim Nerva tank winning the race. Coming from P9, I mean, top job, you can't say any, can't take anything away from him. But yeah, we're coming on P6, wasn't really the best race for us, but again, it could be worse. Back in Australia, this is the race we could be finishing P10, P11. And we did somehow recover into the points. And I think the standings are not up yet, but uh, with the results you'll see on your screen, they will mean that we are in P3 in the driver standing. So, yeah, I mean, at least we are consistent. This is something to be proud of. And the next race will be the big test because it's China, it's the tire wear track number one. And this is my expert. Uh, level as we see, yeah, the simple Clarky like the back runners. I mean, what happened to Clarky by the way? But yeah, you can see them crawling into the finish. And yeah, China is like the track where my expertise of saving tires is the most valuable. valuable. And last season, I was the only one who did a two stop uh, with a tire weight glitch. So. I have already something lined up for the Chinese Grand Prix and I just hope it stays dry and this will be make or break. This will be uh, if I can be a title fighter or not because as for now guys like Ali K, Nerva Tank, Baresi, they are too fast for us. This is the fact we have to face but yeah, Nerva wins the front of Jim Baresi, Ali K, Jamie, Shelley, Big C, uh, us, <laughs> then Big C, Jim Nardi, Walsh and Ferrari fan with the last points finish. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the somehow dodgy commentary with my dead voice. I wish you a good week and I will see you guys next time in the Chinese Grand Prix. See ya!